The sea ecosystem is very diverse. The species found down below are magnificent and scary. Some of them are well known, others not so much. We want to pay homage to the underdog sea creatures. So here goes. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell for more amazing content. Let's begin. Number 10. Hooded Nudie Branch This aquatic mollusk is specifically found in the Pacific Ocean where it inhabits water plants, especially seagrass and kelp. It's quite a fascinating species for an animal. It has a very translucent body that's either pale yellow, colourless or green, with such coloration is hardly visible. These special characteristics make it more agile in hunting unsuspecting prey which comes to swim closely. This prey includes larva and planktonic invertebrates such as copepods and ostracon. To catch prey, this species relies on its expandable oral hood lined with hair-like structures that are referred to as cirri. When prey lands on the oral hood, it's trapped when the hood interlocks and prevents the prey from escaping. This hunt and catch takes a maximum time of 4 seconds. Feeding time varies between adults and young ones. When in development, a hooded nudie branch can feed during the day and also at night. For an adult, feeding times are limited to nighttime only. The species is termed as a simultaneous hermaphrodite, meaning that it has both female and male organs found on one side of its body. This species undergoes initial fertilization, at which stage they can lay up to 30,000 eggs at a go. Number 9. Dumbo Octopus This species of octopuses are named after the 1941 Disney movie Dumbo. Studying this octopus has been a little hard for scientists, since the octopuses are not very widely spread. This is why some of the species were classified under a different genre in which they did not belong. The general confusion is because of the rare nature of this species and the fact that their habitat is the deep sea. They live from 1,000 to 7,000 meters below the ocean surface. Even though their number is little, they are distributed widely and can be found on many coasts, including the Gulf of Mexico, Oregon, and New Zealand. Their most conspicuous feature is that they have a prominent fin that emerges just above the eye on either side of the head. For a good number of marine animals, the fin would be a main part as far as locomotion is concerned. For the Dumbo octopus, the fin is only used to stabilize in movement that's created by a siphon mechanism that pushes the water out of the back of the animal. Number 8. Helmet Jellyfish This jellyfish can be found in every ocean around the world as well as a few other water bodies such as the Mediterranean and the Norwegian fjords. It spends a lot of time in the depths of the ocean, 7,000 meters below the surface. This jellyfish does not remain submerged in the water forever. At night, it swims upwards to hunt zooplankton, which is its main food source. After dinner, it goes back down and will only come up again when it's feeding time. No one knows why they don't feed during the day when the sun is up. These sea dwellers seemingly don't like the sun. This could be the reason why they don't feed during the day. However, they don't live in perpetual darkness. The helmet jellyfish are bioluminescent, meaning that they can light themselves at night and their red bodies glow in the ocean darkness. This glow effect is known as a way of communication among their brothers and sisters. One interesting feature is how they move their tentacles. While regular jellyfish swim with their tentacles trailing behind, the helmet jellyfish holds its stinging parts in front. That way, it picks up prey as it goes. Number 7. Pink See-Through Fantasia This species belongs to the genus of the deep sea cucumber, a Spanish dancer headless chicken fish swimming sea cucumber as well as the headless chicken monster. The species has a very interesting appearance which is reflected in its name. See-through fantasias are semi-transparent, and once they have a meal, it's easy to see their intestines. The color and appearance are mostly dependent on size. The pink becomes more pronounced among small individuals. Larger swimming cucumbers, on the other hand, are reddish-brown. There are a few bioluminescent species that stay just above the sea floor. They swim up from the sea floor once in a while, but just for a thousand meters, as per the scientist survey. This is done mostly to scout for new feeding grounds as well as an escape from predators. Number 6. Handfish One prominent feature in this fish is the fins, which are usually used as propulsion. The fins are modified like a hand-like structure that they use to walk on the ocean floor instead of swimming. The modified fins look more like hands and hence the common name. These fish are found off the coast of Australia, particularly in the south and east, still in Australian territory. Their distribution is low and their population sizes are pretty small, making them vulnerable to interference to human activity. Some of the species are listed as critically endangered and were declared extinct. It's also been hard to study this species because they're very rare, meaning very little is known about them. They grow to about 15 centimeters long and move very slowly with their hand-like pectoral fins.
Number 5. Comb Jellies These are some of the largest sea creatures. They use cilia to move about. The name does not refer to a single animal, though. This belongs to a whole phylum called Tinothor that lives in pretty much every ocean across the world that don't discriminate much when it comes to depth. A good number of them thrive just fine near the surface, while others still like to be deep down in the ocean. This variation is only natural since we're talking of so many species here. To date, scientists have been properly able to describe approximately 150 species under this phylum. Over 20 species have been identified but are yet to be properly named. The sizes also vary widely from as little as a few millimeters to more than a meter. And while comb jellies are mostly distinguishable because of the presence of cilia, as mentioned before, some are devoid of them. As the flat body is platinum tanita, these are the species you're most likely to encounter on the ocean floor since they can't swim and can only manage to crawl the ocean floor with their mouths down, probably in the hopes of catching prey. Number 4. Leafy Sea Dragon This creature can easily pass for a twig, except it's not. It's a fish that has a very close resemblance to a plant. This camouflage is usually used to fool would-be predators, but its appearance is not the only way it gets around predators. The way it moves also gives the illusion that it's a moving seaweed, and thanks to the almost invisible fins close to its tail and on the ridge of its neck. If need be, the leafy sea dragon can also change its color to blend in with its surroundings. Its success depends on a host of factors, such as diet, age, stress levels, and location. Their diet comprises of plankton and small plankton and small crustaceans such as shrimp and amphipods. These leafy sea dragons live alone and only come together to reproduce. The female deposits the eggs on the male's tail. The male then carries them for nine weeks before hatching. In this time, over 95 of the eggs will be destroyed. The young ones become independent as soon as they're hatched and immediately start feasting on zooplankton until they're large enough to go after big crustacean prey. Number 3. Christmas Tree Worms Inhibiting the tropical oceans, Christmas tree worms embed themselves in the heads of massive corals. Here, they release a tubular secretion around their bodies that houses and protects them. The worms are a sedentary lot, and so they cannot actively look for food. Because of their filter feeding, they can still get their fill of required nutrients using their brightly colored radicals. They filter out microorganisms from the ocean floor and immediately begin the digestion process, and it's the same radicalism that makes the worms very desirable to both divers as well as marine aquarists. If you were a diver, wouldn't you enjoy such an array of colors? Aquarists and divers get to see the best of these worms. Number 2. Ribbon Eel This eel is found in a wide range of habitats stretching between East Africa and Japan. They're brightly colored creatures, and it's evident in this photo. This is not the only magical feature about the ribbon eel. They also have very big jaws, which they love opening when approached by a diver. It's a very scary tactic, and there's no scientific explanation about this gesture. Scientists speculate that these creatures are born male and along the way change to female. This is a condition called protandy, and this transformation is marked by the eel's change in appearance. To differentiate the male and female ribbon eels, the colors guide you. Male ribbon eels are usually blue, while the females are either all yellow or yellow with a blue posterior. Young eels are black and spot yellow on their dorsal fins. The ribbon eel is quite a hit in the aquatic industry. The ribbon eel, however, never lives more than a month after captivity. They truly are made for the open seas. Number 1. Japanese Spider Crab As the name suggests, this crab lives in the waters around Japan. And although it's not common to the average guy, it's quite the delicacy in Japan and other countries around. They're rather big, making them an enjoyable meal for crab lovers. Their leg span is about 3.7 meters and the largest so far among arthropods. The width of the head can reach to about 40 centimeters, and the crab can weigh 19 kilograms. The only other arthropods that dwarf the Japanese spider crab are the American lobsters. To protect themselves from predators such as octopuses, they're armored with bumpy exoskeletons that help the crabs blend with the ocean floor. They further cover themselves with seafloor matter for extra protection. Would you love to have a serving of the Japanese spider crab or go snorkeling and meet the ribbon eel? Let us know which of these creatures leave you gaga. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.